Do you think that the Fed needs to implement QE3? So the answer is I don't know. I don't know. Because the, the, the truth is that within the Fed, they have lots of information um, that I don't have. And I think that's the only answer and answer I can give you. Um, Would you say there was a weight of probability towards either implementation or not? So, so actually, actually, I don't know what the answer is. Yeah, I don't know what the answer is. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you think that uh, on balance there could be benefits from an additional. So QE three may mean it may mean different things. So the question is, what do they buy? So if they, um, so, so they could do open market. They, when they do an open market operation, it's just exchanging one piece of paper for another. And, um, you know, if they buy, if they buy government bonds, they push the interest rates so low that that the uh, that, that that can be close to irrelevant. And basically, they're just changing one very low interest rate mm. obligation for another. One. The other thing they could do is they could actually go in the market and, and buy other things. <clears throat> like uh, mortgage-backed securities and things like that. That has that has different implications, and it also carries different risks for the Fed. And, uh, they're, they're thinking about that all the time. And what do you think? I mean, in that case, QE three should look like. What would be the best the best thing for the Fed to, to buy as a way? To so okay, so the way so the, I'm I'm the okay, so I'm the kind of economist who thinks that, um, and I think. People like Bernanke and Ariana Kachikolaima and Charles Cross and various other people in the Fed. There are people that think not in terms of like, what do I think I should do today? But they're more concerned about longer term strategies. Like, what's, what are things going to be in the next uh, 10 years or so? And uh, you know, they're concerned with things like, uh, how are we going to unwind this position? Um, how is monetary policy going to fit? With fiscal policy, what are our options going to be in terms of fiscal policy? And um, <coughs> monetary policy has really, it, despite the popular image that they're very powerful, they actually have very limited powers. Um, they can basically exchange one kind of government liability for another. Um, the big powers lie in fiscal policy and in regulatory policy. And if you'll notice, like one thing they're concerned about. Is um, at, at substantial risk to them, to their independence. Last week they put out a report talking about things that the um, other agencies in the government um, can do to repair um, the housing market, and that was a really significant event because um, if you'll notice the things that the things that they said should be that could be done, those are things that they're really worried about that are outside their uh, control. They basically have one. They have one thing they could do to help the U.S. mortgage market, and they know it. And that is to generate a big inflation. If they generate a sudden inflation, it would um, it would repair the balance sheets of banks. They know that, but they know they also know they have they basically de facto have an inflation target, and they know that to solve that would be to give up on everything they've been trying to achieve for 30 years to get inflation in the United States. So. Um, I think if you read that report, you'll see. Um, so for them, QE3 is like a sideshow. Mm. 